In this video I'll show you how to convert a measurement in inches and fractions of an inch to another measurement in feet and inches and the same fractions of an inch. So approach one will use tape measures one but uh, there are two different variations to it. I'll show you both and the second approach uses a calculator. So I'll show you how to do that later after the tape measures. So the approach on tape measure is fairly straightforward. Some tape measures come with the measurements both in inches and feet and inches printed on them. Very easy. This measurement here for the inches is 3 foot 4. That's a dash. That's not a subtraction. That's not 3 minus 4. I know it looks like a subtraction. Right? On the entire length of the tape, 68 inches is 5 foot 8 inches and 99 inches is 8 feet and 3 inches it's right there on the tape measure so they can be directly read off the tape what if you don't have a tape such as that no problem so 12 inches make a foot obviously so 13 inches would be here just past the one foot mark on this tape nothing indicates that 13 inches is one foot and one inch you're going to have to look and count the inches off. So, let's pick another measurement. 30 inches. How many feet is this? Look to the left here. Find the nearest foot mark. 2 feet and then count the inches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2 foot 6 inches is 30 inches. Let's do another one further down the road. I don't know. This one here. 78 inches is how many feet, how many inches? Look to the left here again, find the nearest foot mark, 6 feet, and count off the whole number of inches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, 6 inches there. 6 foot 6 is 78 inches. So that's how it goes with the tape measure. It's fairly straightforward. But what do you do when you don't have a tape measure because you're writing an exam and this is one of the test questions? So I'll show you how it's done using a calculator. A measurement to be converted could be 148 inches and 3 quarters of an inch. Why not? So the figure 3 quarters of an inch just copies into the final answer as is. It's gonna stay 3 quarters of an inch. There's nothing to convert on that one. We're splitting the inches, 148 of them, into so many feet and so many inches. So I'm gonna make here two lines, that's a dash line. So the feet and the inches go on the dashes. And I'm gonna write up the calculator steps or calculation steps here. So 148 needs to be divided by 12 and then press equals on a calculator. 148 divided by 12 equals that number. It is a decimal number. 12.33333. So let's write it down here. 12.333. It's a repeating decimal, so I'm just going to draw an overbar over the 3, so that's a repeating digit. This 12 here from this 12 here in the final answer copies there to the feet number. That 12 is completely different from that 12. They happen to be both 12s, but they have nothing to do with each other. The number of feet is going to be 12 plus change. Now, at this point, you could copy out the decimal digits on a sheet of paper, the point three 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 three, or it could be, it's easy to copy it because it only has one number in it, three. But uh, sometimes the digits can be all over the place and if you're copying numbers on a sheet of paper and then re-entering from the sheet of paper back in the calculator mistakes are bound to happen so don't leave this on the calculator's display subtract 12 and just leave the decimal digits there on the display 0.33333 I do want to capture this step by writing this minus 12 equals 0. 3, 3, 3, the display is filled with 3's. So what do we do with this one? So the 148 inches is 12 feet 
and those are not inches, those are still feet, 0.3 feet, or 0.33333 feet, or if you like fractions, a third of a foot. This needs to be multiplied again by 12. I'm going to write it here, multiplied by 12 equals, so let's do that, times 12 equals 4. Uh, and that 4 gets copied here as inches. That's your whole number of inches. 4 inches. So 148 inches is 12 feet and 4 inches. Let me repeat these steps quickly on a different number without writing every step down. Just doing it on a calculator. Say, what if you have 200 and 58 inches and I don't know half an inch obviously there's nothing to do with the half inch so just the half inch part carries into the answer and let's see how many feet how many inches this 258 will amount to so on a calculator enter 258 uh, divide this by 12, oops, 12, 21 and a half, so write down 21 here, and 0.5 is easy, but I'm going to follow the steps, so minus the 21 is half a foot, half a foot is obviously going to be 6 inches, but I'm going to follow the steps, so multiply this by 12, 6 inches there, gets written down there, obviously, or uh, Apparently, 258 inches is 21 feet and 6 inches. So that's how to do it on a calculator. Thanks for watching.